Hi guys, it is your leopard goddess making a new video for y'all. This is basically just like a vloggity vlog video type thing. Oh, hi Muffin. So, my day was kind of crazy. The last couple days have been really crazy. I haven't heard from Alex in like over a week because he's getting released from jail. Finally, after four years of waiting, he's going to actually get released from jail, so that's good. But I don't think I'll ever see him again. I think he just played me, so... That was a waste of my four years, waiting for somebody that I adore to get out, to get married and everything, and then never going to hear from him again and all that. And then, like, the other day, some guy... I, uh, that was so interested in me and all that. We went to the casino to hang out and he just used me and like would take my money that I did have, which wasn't much, but it was still money. And he would take my money and stuff. So that was really lame of him. And then, um, yeah, I went there, or wait, I went to Duluth today and he would like ditch me. Like he would seriously ditch me every day because he's just a fucking little prick bitch named Nicholas Kant. That's his fake name because you can't use real people's names supposedly. So Nicholas K-E-N-T, little short Indian dude that's a user and just wanted to use me for whatever he could get from me because people think that T-girls are so desperate for attention and so desperate for love that will do anything and everything. Not me, bitch. I'm not desperate. I love being single. I love being alone in my bed at night. I'm not gonna sit there and, like, obsess and obsess and try to be with someone and pay my way into their pants and all that. No. That ain't me. I'm not a desperate bitch. I could care fucking less if I'm single the rest of my life. Yeah, it was nice, like, having somebody to hang out with. And it's nice to get attention, which I've been getting a lot of attention lately since I've been hanging out with Nicole Winters. And we've been going out every day and, like, meeting people. And, yeah, I've done some really crazy stuff that I'm not going to say. Because it's, like, insanely crazy. And it's really out of character for me to do. But it is what it is. And, yeah, so that guy, he's like, I stood him up today on purpose, and I ditched him on purpose because he kept ditching me, and I was like, karma's a bitch now, isn't it? And he's like, karma's gonna get you blah, 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 even though he's the one that stole $60 out of somebody's machine and stole from me, and he's a user and an abuser and fucking pathetic. He had a hot-ass body, and that's about it. So, yeah. And now I'm going to watch The Bad Girls Club. The newest episode is on tonight since it's Tuesday. Uh, I got, I finished the Smokers Experiment, so I got that all taken care of. I'm getting a check from YouTube, which isn't crap for money. It's like nothing at all, but it'll help me get gas in my vehicle. I will be going down to the East Coast, down in... Virginia and Pennsylvania so I hope you guys would like to hang out anyone that's there I noticed like Pennsylvania is the state meant for hot guys every single guy that I've ever cammed with or talked to that is from Pennsylvania has been super fucking hot like jocks like they're hot in the face and they have super hot bodies and they're ripped and they're tan and they're sexy and they're just perfect. So I want to go to Pennsylvania and go to the beach and just see how many guys I can get to jiggle their wiggle on my niggle. So yeah, um, what else is new? I'm going to be doing another boy to girl video. I'm going to begin on hormones shortly. I'm excited about that. I'm going to get me some breast assist and I'm going to get liposuction Nothing needs to be done to my ass, because I have a fat motherfucking ass. I got a nice old brown bubble butt. At least that's what the guys say when they're licking it cleaner. Muffin. Hi. Hi, cutie. Of course, Muffin will be coming with me wherever I go. She's going to go in my car. And she will just sleep on my head while I drive. 
She's so cute and soft and squishy. Yeah, oh, and then tonight we were bar hopping. I haven't gone to bars since I was like 16. But I looked older, so I was able to get in. And I knew friends that worked there. So tonight we went to like me and Nicole and my sister all went to bars. And we went bar hopping and we went to the flame. And there was like only two people there. It was dead as hell boring. So we went to the main. And as soon as we walked in, we got in like three feet and then we're like oh we're not sure because there was like only four people and they're really old like really old pedophiles you could tell the pedophiles are like losing their hair and ugly and ratchet and then he's like you can come in we're not gonna bite you hard at least so i was like okay let's go bye and then after the stupid gay clubs and bars we went to a straight bar and i just sat in my car and ate some motherfucking mcdonald's and was like texting my bitches. Where's my phone? Oh, here's my phone. I have this Hello Kitty case on it this time. But yes, thanks to Jasper. Jasper, I don't know exactly how to say your name. He paid my phone bill or helped me pay the rest of it. I had some money, but he paid the rest of it. And he's like the only guy that's been helping me out. So thank you so much. That's for you. And, yeah. I am... Um, just... I'm alright. I'm doing okay. You are just such a beautiful little darling, aren't you? Say hi. There you are. Muffin, come this way. You gotta say hi to everyone. Say, I'm the prettiest kitty in the world. Oh, you purr. She is seriously the cuddliest cat ever. I'll just lay in bed and she will force herself. Like, if my arms are closed, she'll force herself into my arms. And she will make sure that she is in bed sleeping with me under the covers. I just, oh god, I just love her. She's such a sweetheart. So I'm glad that I got her from Alex. And at the end of the day, no matter what guys I make out with or what guys I go on dates with, I'll always want Alex at the end of the day. So, I'll be going to Arlington, Virginia, East Coast, to go visit him. It'll be a surprise. He won't know it. His parents won't know it, and I really don't care. I'm going to kidnap his ass, even though he's, like, 30 by now. But, yeah, I love him so much, and I just want to be with him again, because... I had an amazing life when I was with him. And I miss it. And there's no guys in the world that want to have a serious relationship. They don't want to live together. They don't want to go on dates. They don't want to pay for the food. And that's the thing with Alex. It has nothing to do with the money. But he would cook me meals. He would lay in bed and cuddle all night long. We would eat some flower seeds and everything. He was just the most amazing boyfriend. And anytime he wanted... I wanted to go he wanted to go He would always... I always pay for dinner. I always be such a gentleman with everything he did. And I just miss being spoiled by his cuteness. A lot. So Alex, if you see this, just know that I love you a lot, a lot. You're my little pookie wookie bear. And I miss you a want, a want. Uh -huh. My little moi moi. One day I'll see you again. <sighs> Alright. Me and the kitty are going to cuddle to the Bad Girls Club now. Thumbs up this video if you like me still. Subscribe if you're watching this and you've never seen my videos before. I make videos randomly. A lot of transformation, a lot of makeup, little cum shot videos. All that shit, girl. Alright, love you. Bye.